All right, let's talk real life e-commerce choices, Shopify or WooCommerce. You see, if you're a solopreneur or a creator in 2025, you've definitely seen the Shopify ads, or you know, perhaps you've probably heard someone say, you know, just use WooCommerce, it's, it's free, you know? And maybe you've even clicked around both dashboards thinking, why does everyone make this sound so simple? Welcome, I'm Tony Lewis from Thrive Themes, and yeah, I, I make cool stuff for the WordPress world, but I've also been deep in the trenches with both platforms. I've built stores in each, I've broke things, I fixed things, I spent more money than I planned to on simple features, I've seen the wins and the face palms, and I'm here to pass you the no-nonsense, wish someone told me this version that nobody else seems to be sharing online. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Let's first talk about the total cost of ownership. And look, let's confess, Shopify's monthly price is kind of really easy to understand. You pay $39 a month for the starter plan and you know, you're rolling. But under the hood, if you want better SEO, well, go pay for an app. If you want email recoveries, there's an app for that. If you want fancy reviews, app, app, app. And suddenly with just a couple of those tasty add-ons, your credit card is sweating about 120 bucks a month on average before you even pay for ads. And trust me, I've been there. One of my past stores was basically running on Shopify plus a mini zoo of different applications. And by month number four, the app fees almost matched my inventory costs. And look, WooCommerce on the other hand, people love raving about it being free, but free is only if you want a hobby store for your grandma. In the real world, you're probably paying, gonna, you're, well, actually, you're definitely going to be paying for, you know, solid hosting, a pro WordPress theme, uh, you know, Thrive Leads or another email thing, and a few plugins to cover what Shopify includes out of the box. But, and here's the upside, you only pay for stuff that you actually want, when you want it. All right, let's now talk about design and customization, which is something that personally I really value. Shopify is kind of like takeout. It's hot, it's tasty, no mess. You pick a theme, you drop the logo, you change some colors, and boom, you're you know, you're in business next weekend. If you hate fuss or if you want a site that just, you know, that isn't going to break, then Shopify's the drive-through. But WooCommerce, now we're talking. It's like getting your own kitchen. It's messy at first, and I'm not going to pretend like it's not. Maybe even a little daunting. But when you figure it out, I mean, the sky is truly the limit. I mean, you can make a landing page, a gated community, even a hybrid, you know, blog, shop, podcast hub. I've rebuilt Apple's homepage, to, you know, just to see if I could with Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder. You know, the, the magic just happens really fast. And with a side of WooCommerce, you're kind of king of your own castle. And here's a quick little personal story of mine. My first big store, I tried to hack Shopify just to add an online course, only to find out that I was going to need three different apps, an external course tool, and six new passwords. And on WooCommerce, it was, you know, install Thrive Apprentice, and you're done. Uh, I wish I'd started there sooner, not going to lie. Now let's actually talk about e-commerce, which is what most of you guys are probably interested in. Shopify's strength is that it just works. Inventory, tax, checkout, email receipts, great. Simple product catalog, amazing. Now, if you wanna add subscriptions, bundles, or fancy member stuff, now you start mixing in pricey applications or you know, you're gonna eventually realize that you can't change things the way you want and the way you envision them. WooCommerce, on the other hand, is more of like a playground. Uh, think physical goods, digital files, course bundles, membership areas, even weird one-off products. I mean, all of this is possible. It's it's kind of like, you know, you bring your own adventure. And yes, sometimes you're gonna get plug-in chaos, but you can build any funnel your heart or you know, your business plan desires. And you know, as a bonus, you're not locked out of your own data or forced to use only one payment method like uh, Shopify requires you to do. And you're going to allow me to throw any small little plug in here, but you can eliminate all of that plugin chaos if you just simply rely on one bundle of plugins built by a reputable company. Content and search engine optimization is important because you probably want your store ranking high up in the search engines. And look, Google loves WordPress. 
There's not even a debate here. And with WooCommerce, you can blog, you can build resource hubs, you can launch lead magnets, you can add custom sales pages, shout out to Thrive Leads, and get super granular with SEO settings. You know, when I was running content-driven sales in 2023, my WooCommerce setup let me rank blog posts, collect leads, and sell in one single flow. And Shopify blogging, I'm going to be gentle. I mean, it's fine for updates, but WordPress just plays the long game. And what's funny, and you may have noticed this, is that Shopify users often end up adding a WordPress blog on the side just to get the kind of reach that comes standard on WooCommerce and WordPress. Now, we definitely have to talk about security. Shopify keeps you really comfy here because if your site crashes or, you know, if something nasty happens to your site, it's kind of on them and it's not on you, which is kind of nice. But there's also a caveat, which is that if they change a rule or drop a new feature, you kind of just have to roll with it. And I've seen this happen where a client of mine lost the core integration just overnight and it's not fun. WooCommerce, on the other hand, means you own your house. You get to update your hosting. You get to tweak your site however you see fit. You get to pull backups, even move to another host if you want. Uh, you know, first time you recover from a plugin meltdown because you actually had a backup, that's a chef's kiss. And yes, uh, working with WooCommerce is a little bit of more work, but it's your place. And here's a, I was going to say pro tip, but it's not really a pro tip. I mean, to be honest, this, this is a WordPress 101 rule. Use solid hosting and keep your plugins updated. Do that and WooCommerce will be stable and it will let you sleep soundly at night. Okay, let's just answer the big question, which is who should use which? Because not everyone needs the same toy. All right, so here's the honest answer. If you want to launch in three days and keep choices simple because you don't have to reinvent the wheel and you don't really care about design or anything like that, you simply want to start shipping your products as quickly as possible, I would probably go with Shopify. And if you want to build a business that's a store and a blog, and maybe perhaps you're thinking about having course functionality and you want to have things the way you imagine them, then I would definitely go with something like WooCommerce, especially sprinkled with Thrive Suite. And look, I always tell all of my colleagues and acquaintances uh, when they approach me about building an e-commerce store that Shopify is a, you know, a killer first business builder. But if you want the keys to your castle, if you want to be able to control your, your business, expand it and stay flexible as you grow, WooCommerce is where you really graduate. Uh, that's where most of my own projects and clients end up. And they always thank me for it once they see what they can build with it. So again, to wrap it up, if you want it easy, just go with Shopify. And if you want to own, grow, tinker, and future-proof, then I would go with WooCommerce all day, especially for content creators and solopreneurs. And if you want this setup, Thrive Suite makes WooCommerce even stronger with higher conversions, easier launches, way more flexibility. And there's be links below in the description box for you to check, uh, check out Thrive Suite and learn more about that. As always, if you're stuck deciding or if you want a real person's feedback, just drop your scenario in the comments. I will be more than happy to help every single one of you guys. Smash that like button if you found the video helpful. And yeah, just go build the kind of business you actually want to run. Catch you next time and I appreciate your time. Thanks again. Bye.